happens when you combine Belgium craftsmanship and Amsterdam bravery. It's beer o'clock and from the famous Duval Mortgat Brewery in Belgium and the Brewery Eye in Amsterdam, we have a bottle of their hazy IPA coming in at 6.66% ABV. Yes, this is this is crazy, you know. Duval, it means the devil. And we've only got a beer that's the three sixes. This is scary. Could this go wrong? I've been looking forward to this. I have chased all over Europe to get a bottle of this for the channel. Um, so hard to get hold of, but I managed to get secure one, get hold of a bottle. Um, really looking forward to it. I love the artwork on this bottle. Look at the artwork. You know, we've got the devil on there. We've got the emblem of the Duval. We've got the emblem of Brewery Eye. The cap is not a Duval cap, believe it or not. It's Brewery Eye cap, which is the ostrich. Um, so without further ado, shall we sort of crack this open and get on with it? I think we better. This is a bottle I would definitely keep. It's definitely going on display here. So I'm going to take this top off rather gingerly so I can pop it back on when we're finished and leave this empty bottle up here in this pub shed for me to look at. I don't know where it's gonna fit, but we'll find a place. So let's get it into a glass. There we go. It's a classic pour of a Duval there. So, first impressions, it's hazy, it's yellow. We've got a two finger white tight frothy foam head. Let's get the aromas. Oh my God. Fresh flowers, hoppy. Fruity, I don't know what more to say. Oh, it feels so fresh, feels so zingy. Oh, this just smells divine, it smells awesome, it smells so good. You know, this is definitely, um, yeah. Apparently they use three types of hops in this. They're using the Azaka, the Mosaic, and the Citra. And you can really feel that Citra hop coming through. Oh, if you could smell this now, if you could smell this now, maybe one day we might be able to, like, we might be able to have smelly vision, because if you could get the aroma of this, you would absolutely love it. Oh, just it, it, it just a knockout. So without further ado, let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. Oh my god. I've just had a fruit explosion on my tongue. This beer is a knockout. It seriously is a knockout. It 
it has the the texture and the body of a standard duval green I would say it's like a duval green that's been mixed with a brewery I IPA The Duval side of it does feel like the Duval green. It's creamy. The mouthfeel. The why I'm saying the Duval green is Duval green is not as carbonated as a normal Duval. And Duval Greens, unfortunately, you can only get it in Belgium. Um, I've been lucky to review it on the channel. Um, but anyone that knows, if you have a Duval Green, it's more of a sharper. It's, it's like a... To me, Duval Green's like a young Duval. It's sharper, but it's less gassy. And it's a lesser ABV. And this is like they've used like Duval Green as the base in this. And then Brewery Eye have have uh, have made their IPA magic on top. And I'll tell you what, what a beer. This was a beer well worth hunting down. I just love the fruitiness of it. It's like one of those fruit juice drinks, like Umbongo or something like that. You know, there's so many fruit flavours. Or maybe, because we've got that candied yeast element, you know, the candied sugars from the Duval. And we've got this fruitiness from Brewery Eye. Travel sweets, the tins, you know what I'm on about, the tins of travel sweets that you can buy in, in petrol stations all over the world because I've, I've, I know, I've seen them out in, in Netherlands, I've seen them out in a uh, in, uh, in Belgium, in Germany, you go to the petrol station, you fill up, they have them little tins, you even get me Lidl's, can't you? Little tins of travel sweets, they're little hard-boiled sweets, covered in some uh, some sugar powder, or and so they don't stick together. And they're usually like fruits, mixed fruits. Um, you know, get, like, get citrus, or you get, you get um, dark fruits, that sort of thing. Well, this is sort of like those fruity, hard-boiled travel sweets. If you can sort of picture that in your mind, what they taste like, this is this fruity taste that you're getting from this beer. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Your hard-boiled, fruity, travel sweets you've got the sweetness there which is that icing sugar that sort of surrounds them just so they don't stick together in the tin and you've got that lovely fruitiness that comes out when you see you suck on them sweets and everyone knows them sort of sweets i'm on about you've all had a tin in in in, your, in at some point in your life or you've been in a car and someone's had a tin and they've offered you one you know you know so yeah hard boiled Travel Sweets meets a Duval Green. That's how I would describe this beer. And it's awesome. I love it. Look at that lacing on the glass. You know, what a beer. What a lovely beer. What a pleasant beer to have. Um, 
I wish I'd got more than two bottles now. I wish I'd got more than two bottles, but hey ho. Can't win them all. Can't win them all. Look. Try to source yourself a bottle. Especially you Duval fans. I've got some very, very good Duval fans on the channel. Um, source yourself a bottle of this. Try it. See what you think. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the review. Just just anything. Just leave us a comment below. Give us a big thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up button. Give us a like because it really helps the channel. And of course, hit that little bell. Get notified every time I bring out a new review. And subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. It's free. You don't have to pay to subscribe to the channel. Um... And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. <coughs> TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. <laughs>